Hey guys, so with summer just beginning, I thought I'd share with you guys five great apps to start you off this season. First on this list is Custom Navigation Bar. If you happen to have a virtual nav bar, then this free app will allow you to customize it. You will need to manually grant you permission to be able to modify the nav bar by using ADB or if you have root allowing it super user access. Once you've done that, you can change the overall theme of the nav bar to make it look like the Google Pixel, Galaxy S8, Make It Invisible, Old School Hollow, Filled, and more. It also has Android O navbar features for devices with Android Nougat and above. So you can add extra buttons to the edges such as key codes, applications, tasker events, open the notifications, and more. You can also change the location of the keys, experimental tweaks to change the original back home recent buttons to whatever you like, enable immersive mode, and create profiles so you can save and change your settings quickly. It's not a bad option if you're dying to change the overall look of your virtual navigation bar. Just make sure to check the compatibility list in the app's Play Store description to see if your device is supported. Next up is Contextual App Folder. If you've ever needed certain apps for a specific scenario right away, then this is what you've been looking for. All you need to do is create a new scenario by selecting a trigger type such as joining a Wi-Fi network, Bluetooth connection, geolocation, etc. And then adding apps or shortcuts you want displayed when that trigger is enabled. Then you can place the 1x1 CAF widget on your home screen which will look like a regular folder. I have mine set to show my music player apps when I connect to a Bluetooth speaker or display my social media apps when I connect to my personal Wi-Fi network. You can also customize the folder to make it fit with your other folders, change the icon pack, add multiple profiles, and more. It's a quick and easy way to access your apps and shortcuts just when you need them. If you love using Twitter and were a fan of the Twitter client Phoenix, then you'll be happy to hear that Phoenix 2 is now available for free. It's still in preview, so it's not 100% finished, but the overall UI looks a bit more modern and cleaner than the original Twitter app. You may miss out on some standard features like highlights, the explore tab, and Chrome custom tabs, but you do get some unique features such as custom themes, layouts, columns, gesture controls, and more. It's all opinion here, but this wouldn't be a bad choice, especially since for the time being, it's free. For those of you looking for a better alternative to speedtest.net or any other similar network testing app, then check out Meteor. This will not only test your internet speed, but also tell you what experience you can expect while using certain apps, giving your latest test results. My internet is pretty bad to begin with since I'm currently at a hotel, so knowing how each app will perform under my circumstances is very useful. Plus, it's very informative, giving you various stats on the test you've done and shows you a history of the trails you've completed. It has a very clean interface, completely free with no ads or in-app purchases, and provides features that you won't find anywhere else. The last app is an alternate browser to Google Chrome. I know that it may be very hard to believe, but Pyro Browser has plenty more useful features and is based off the Chromium and CyanogenMod browser. For starters, it has an ad blocker, incognito mode to search privately, power saving mode that saves some juice by restricting performance, night mode, immersive mode, edge navigation to quickly gesture through your web pages, offline reading, advanced web page sharing, and more. Not only that, but if your phone has a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, which most US phones have, then this wouldn't be a bad choice as this browser has been optimized to perform even faster than most other browsers with that chipset. With all these features and optimizations, this is a great competitor to any browser on the market. Well, those are the five best apps of early summer 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out AndroidPolice.com for your latest and greatest news on Android, and I will see you guys in the next one.